Hello guys, and today I'm going to cook a meal um, using some slightly out of date um, mints. I did actually pay full price for this, but I just didn't get around to doing it, which is annoying because I paid full price for it. But this is um, steak mints, it's dated um, the 26th. It's currently the 28th. I'm not sure what's really happened in the news recently, so I'll come back to that to prove it. Okay. Um, I've also got um, some oil to use. Probably very out of date. So out of date, you probably can't even see... Um, Use by date on it. This has also got um uh, over two years out of date rice. So the pure basmati. See there. November 2021. Um, it doesn't really matter because it's rice. Um, I've also got an onion. I choose a red one because I happen to like the red ones. Um, I've also got here a red pepper and I've got a tin of tomatoes this is bought recently so this is it's completely in date um, it's actually dated August 2025 that's a Tesco one and I've also got this, which I don't even understand what it is. Now, you might think, well, if you don't know what it is, why did you even buy it? Well, the honest truth is I didn't. And no, I didn't steal it. Um, because I'm unemployed, you get free food. I don't mean like you get free vouchers. You actually get free food, right, For at, uh, on a special scheme I'm on. When they give you free food as well. Not just You don't just go to... Um, a, a normal um, food bank and you actually go to a recruitment agency which I tell you you've got to go to or you don't get any money and um, they also give you free food while you're there so for some strange reasons so there you go this is um, free food I've got which is mixed beans in water now I've no idea what it is I looked at this and apparently Mexi it's Mexican food of some sort apparently Mexicans like using mixed beans for some reason and I know in America Mexican food is very popular but it's not really over here maybe chili with chili con carne maybe but um, you know if you said to most people Mexican food they wouldn't know what the hell you were talking about over here to be completely honest even if some think like chili con carne I think it's got some Mexican roots to it it may even be Mexican I don't know anyway um, Well, it's done that. I'm trying to see if there's any news stories that are recent and aren't too controversial, just to prove when I've actually filmed this. And um, and let's see. I should have prepared this earlier, but never mind. Um, I just wanted some quick news that wasn't controversial. Okay. Okay, um, news story says, Icon of the Seas, world's largest cruise ship sets sail from Miami. That will do. Um, and that's the exact headline um, that was six hours ago. I couldn't have known that on 
the um, 26th, it's now the 28th, but anyway, I'm now going to cut up the pepper and the onion, and um, then I'll try to cook the rest of it somehow, okay? Now, this would be very simple normally, but because I'm filming it, it's bound to be a disaster. Right, which is a shame as I bought this meat specially, okay? I paid full price for it. I should have had it earlier, but it'll do. It's been in the fridge. I don't think it'll make that much of a difference, to be totally honest with you, right? I mean, this, this is not... This, I could have put it in the freezer and, and, and thawed it, but I thought I'd have it fresh, although it's not as fresh as I'd like, but I just didn't get around to cooking it for one reason or another. And I have to cook very early in the morning, because otherwise my mum will start listening to the radio and the telling effect, you know, me trying to talk or whatever. So, okay, guys, now I'll try and cook it, okay? Right, now I'm going to cut up the onion and also the pepper. So, right, so first I'm going to start with the red pepper. I'm just going to cut it in half. And what you do is you rip the seeds out, like that. I don't know why, but you're not meant to eat them. I think they're very, very hot for some reason, so I have to literally get them out. I'm going to try and shake them out into a bag. So this is, I'm using this as a bin bag. It's actually a former bread bag, but I'm going to shake it in there. So. I just loosen the seeds and then shake it in there. And then she's like a bin bag. Right, that's that one done. Not half done. Now, I'm doing the same thing one. Put my thumb in. Rip it out. And then put that in the bin. And then loosen them so that the seeds are loose. Because we don't want them. And in a minute, I just put them into the bag, shake it, and most of the seeds have come out. And just just try and put any others in there. Okay, just double check. Look, they've all gone. Right, that's the scene to start with. Now, what I'm not going to do. Fortunately, there's a few scenes that have gone on here, but take them off. might as well even go on to the knife so I'll take that off okay right anyway so now I can just chop it I'm sure there's a better way of doing this but I'm going to do it very quickly because all I'm, I'm trying to do it on camera and it takes ages to do this normally I would do th things are very easy but when you've got a pair of headphones on and you're trying to do things on camera it takes forever I'm aware that you can cut it a lot more finely and I'm aware there are a lot of people far better than me but as I say I'm trying to do this at speed because I'm aware my videos are far too long for what they are So I know there's a lot of professional chefs that can like cook really fast, I'm afraid I can't. I haven't had the training, I'm scared of chopping my fingers off to be honest with you. So go. So that's half that with, so now I'm just going to um Just 
bit left as well. So what I'm going to do is I've got a container which I've put some water in. I'm just going to put in there for now. I know the way I'm doing this is not going to be ideal, but it's because of the easiness or otherwise of how it says to film the thing. So I'm putting it in there in that section. This is just so I have something for later, so if there's any problems later, um, this will be used for various things, and eventually the completed mill should end up in here as well, so I can reuse it for another day. Mm -hmm. This is the other half. As I said, I know this is done terribly, but I'm trying to do it at speed. too bothered about if it looks nice or not. I mean it all tastes the same when it's eaten. So I think this is the way I'm doing this by Some professional chef do strange things like this, but they do it the other way. But I can't film it the other way, so well, I could, but it's too much hassle. Right, so I think this is the. Um, And some of it has bounced back into my eyes, I think, so. Well, I think this, this is the, some of it. Anything looks a bit big, huh? I think this will do. Right, this will have to do. I mean, I'm sure if it can be cut more finely, but I'm not going to waste any more time, to be totally honest with you. No. There's also a little hole in here, so I can scoop things through the hole. leave it up there. There's a few bits that have come off the onion, even though I didn't want them to. So that is the red pepper dealt with. And I probably could have added salt and pepper, but I didn't mention them, so I won't. So. Now, going to do the onion. Now, I'm aware that I'm going to practically butcher this because, you know, I'm trying to do it at speed. So a lot of the onion will be lost unnecessarily. But then I'll put it in there. I'm going to rip off the outside. I, I wouldn't normally lose as much as what I'm going to lose, but it's the fastest way I can do this. Programmer. I don't know what else was going to do it. No one else was going to. No one else was going to. No. 
Schaut mich so. As I said, it's a waste, but I haven't got time. So. And it's a big enough onion anyway, probably bigger than I'll need. But, you know. I do hope the batteries don't run out or something stupid. Um. Must be really boring watching me chop up, you know, everything. There you go. It's getting a bit tough now. Even, I couldn't even, if I try, a bit glue in there, but in the um, container, I've, I've took it out now, but it fly out. No, when you do this, you're supposed to cut it all very finely, but as you can see, it takes absolutely really forever to do this. I don't know why it takes so long, but there you go. I'm not a professional chef, and I should have got a smaller onion, I think, but never mind. It seemed okay at the time, and you know, Sometimes if you want smaller onions, you've got to buy a whole pile of them, like several in one go, and I don't feel like doing that truthfully, so, you know, so.
Okay. This is annoying. Come on. I'm gonna start making this a bit simpler. I'm gonna start putting some of them in here. I know they've not been cut very finely, but it will do. I haven't got the time to do a masterpiece, I just haven't. This is why I hate filming things a lot of the time, because... You rush things and you ruin a meal. I know these there are lots of professionals that do it, but they've got their own cheating techniques. Like they say, this is something I did earlier, and they kick about five meals, but you only see one of them when they've finally done it. Or something stupid. Um. Well, well, to be honest, this is getting a bit boring. So... Also, I'm aware of wasting the battery, so I'm going to stop it now. But I'm going to stop the filming, but I will be carrying on doing this soon. And then I'll show you the rest of it soon, okay? Right, now, that's the um, onion cut. So now I'm going to slide it all in here. This is the um, container. Now I know it's not ideal because the peppers and the onions are mixed together, but So that now is the um, peppers and the onions chopped. So now I'm going to some of the preparation work which I'm going to regret. I'm going to open the um, can of mixed beans with a tin opener. On this particular open, tin opener you put do it sideways, some you do like that, this one you do like this, on this particular tin. I never completely take the tin off, I always... There you go, that's the beans. Other side, and with the chopped tomatoes, it's got a pull ring. So I've loosened it. I'll put it in the way. So I do it that way to loosen it. I'm going to do it this way to pull it better. That's the tomatoes. I'm not going to open it completely. That's that. I'm also now going to open the um, mince, packet of mince, and it's still got the 26th of January on it, so 
Now, I did want to try and rip it open so it do it nicely, but like I expected, a lot of the time it doesn't want to do it, so it's so, okay. I managed to rip it, so there you go. And see if they put something in the bottom. Yes, they put a piece of um, often over here. You find they put this sort of wrapping in the bottom like that. Don't know quite why, but they just do. So that's the meat, and I think that's. Or the main preparation, I think, before I actually start to cook it. Okay, now I should use two hot plates at once, but um, this is going to be a bit awkward because I'm trying to do everything on one hot plate, which is a bit annoying. So, okay. Right now. I have here the um, hot plate with the saucepan on it. And I have the mixed beans. So I'm just going to empty the mixed beans into here. Maybe this is a complete meal, I don't know, maybe. Anyway, we'll see here. There's an option, I'm going to turn it on. Wait a minute. And now, you'll notice the light is on. I'm going to stir this. I'm not sure what kind of beans these are. Um, I shouldn't do this, but mm. it has black-eyed beans, chickpeas, pea beans. Pinto beans, red kidney beans, and and sorry beans in water. Okay. <laughs> I got beans, chickpeas, pea beans, pinto beans, red kidney beans, and and zuki beans. Never. I've heard red kidney beans. Um, and that's the only ones I think I've ever had properly. Chickpeas I don't think I've ever really bothered with in the past, but there you go. So right, as I said, the heat is on, so it's just going to take a long time to warm up. So... I mean, I said, um, put it in the saucepan for about three to four minutes. Um, it looks like it'll take longer than three or four minutes to even warm up, to be completely honest, but never mind. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, I'm just testing my... Don't, you shouldn't do this, you should never do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Just to test, you know, because you could, like, burn your fingers. But see how warm the hot plate was, so. You're supposed to put a lid on it, but I think, but for three or four minutes I'm not going to bother. And also it's hot, it means it, you won't be able to see it if I do, so. I 
water. This is the variety of beans. I don't even know, know if you even really need to warm them up, to be honest, because I'm said these will later be added to um, other things, which will be um, cooked on the frying pan, so. Well, they said three or four minutes, so I took them at the word, to be honest. But it looks like it's going to be a bit more than that. I think they say not to boil them, but I'm not going to. Do, and it says do not boil, so it says stirring occasionally, but do not boil, so. While it's doing that, I'll leave it. It's starting to get a bit warmer now, I think, so. While it's doing that, I'm going to get a frying pan ready, I think, for the next stage. <laughs> this is a complete meal for some people. I don't know, I'm not an expert on Mexican food or whatever. I don't know. It's starting to get warm now, so. Mm. seems almost like a waste to drain it because I was originally going to drain the water that was my original plan it looks like it'd be a waste to drain it with all these flavours and colours in the water so Maybe it would have been, been better just to have added it to the um, tomato, but we'll see. Right, so now I'm going to move this out of the way. And now I'm going to deal with the frying pan. Now... I'm just going to move this onto another saucepan. I wouldn't recommend you normally do this, but I'm putting it onto another saucepan, hopefully, just so that it's the only way I know that it's safe. Okay, so now I'm going to add, get a frying pan, and I'm now going to deal with the rest. Okay. Right, now I have the frying pan. So now, I have the oil, and I'm going to just pour some oil into here. Now normally I'd also, it hasn't warmed up yet so it's safe, so it's not very warm at the moment. Well, so, I shouldn't have said that because it's actually hot enough for that was heat up incredibly fast. I wouldn't have believed it could heat up quite so quickly, but there you go. Use this instead. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because this is the easiest way I can do this, I'm going to quickly... Oh, it is incredibly hot. 
Right, okay. So now I'm just going to pour this the onions and the I'm going to pour the onions and the red the peppers in. Now I'm just going to stir them. It's at this stage that you know, I discovered that I, you know, where you didn't cut it properly. So one cheating technique I've found is to use a spatula if you want to chop things. If you wish to chop something but you hadn't, use a spatula. And it will like chop things after the event. So I'm going to check for a minute. Now my idea is to try to do this and then somehow try to put them all back in the container afterwards. I'm now starting to cry because of the onions, well almost, you know. Um, I'm just trying to do something, it's annoying. I should probably do them separately, but Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And while it's doing that, turns up even more. Now, I should probably ideally. Put them away and then do the meat, but for speed purposes, and because this is a very large frying pan, um, 
it wasn't my intention to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to boil the meat in straight now. So, here's the meat. And I turned it upside down, and you'll see here this piece of plastic or whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but underneath, so I'm going to take that off. That's why I turned it in the way I did, so it would do it that way. Now I've just... I just use a spatula to chop it up. In the moment it's ready, it will go brown. And even though it is technically out of date, although I bought it when it was in date, because I put it in a fridge, rather than their silly fridges in the shop, it still looks okay. I've turned the heat up so it's on maximum now because it's got a lot of things stuff in here I'm also going to put a bit more oil in um, so I'm going to put a bit more oil in Just to speed up the process, hopefully. Hopefully that should make it get hotter quicker and I'm doing that, I can do this. Yeah. Notice some of the meat is starting to go brown. Look, This could have probably been a meal on its own, right, without even having any um, rice, but I'm not an expert, there's a lot more here than I expected, truthfully. Starting to go brown, so I just want to make sure it goes generally brown so I don't become ill or anything like that, okay.
I should ideally start cooking the rice, but as I said, I originally was going to. Okay, well, I think the meat's mostly done. I'm not. So. Okay, most of the meat is done now, so... So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in the beans. Now, I showed you the beans I did earlier. I'm going to pour the beans in. into the frying pan as I said I'm sure you're probably supposed to drain it but it seems a bit of a waste so this is special water that came with the can I'm sure you know it's heresy what I'm doing but And we also had it very hot, so it also means that this means any meat which wasn't cooked should now be cooked as it's going to boil. So I've turned the heat down now, but the trouble is, because this is a ceramic hob, it takes a long time for it to um, cool down. So, in a minute, I'm going to do some rice. I'm satisfied that this is generally okay. I should have been got Tesco's. Body I was fully done. Now I have here a t the tin of tomatoes, I'm going to add the tomatoes in. And I said normally I'd add salt and pepper as well, but I did so I'm going to try and do this entirely on what I had. I've tur turned it down, but it's still bubbling.
Ja, kan. So in real terms, this is sort of done. So what I'm going to do is um, make it stirred round, and then I'm going to pour most of it back into containers. So this is so I can have it for another day. So now I've got the container there. Now this is where it's going to be an absolute disaster because if anything goes wrong, it will. Um, there are some bits in here that didn't get cooked. It doesn't matter because I'm sure they'll get cooked another day. So, I'm not worried about some small bits of raw onion or raw red pepper. This is where it's going to be a disaster. Some bits have gone on the carpet, which I'd rather hope I wouldn't have happened, but never mind. Um, we're back with no time. Bit. I'm just going to have to chuck it to waste, but never mind. It is difficult to do this. I suppose that's why some people use a spoon or something. But I said, if it's going to go wrong, it will. And um, because I'm trying to do it quickly, I've got a big frying pan, so. I should just have done it like this. It's just that's why people do everything in the kitchen. I've looked upstairs on on the landing. I might. Okay. Right. Doesn't matter, I'm just going to quickly wipe this up. I've got a bit of toilet roll. I should use kitchen towel, but this will do the same thing. That's that. Right, now. Again, put some more in. And that should be enough for one meal now. Right, so this will be used for another day and probably a few days. Now, I'm going to boil the rice. So now, I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm to pour in the rest of the um, some of the strange water that was in with the beans. I'm going to move the. Um, this is now cold now, so I'm going to move this over to there. It's on top of a saucepan. 
reason it's on top of a saucepan is because it won't burn anything. Now, because it's cold at the moment, it doesn't matter. So, that back a bit. This is now cold, so it won't matter. So, what I'm going to do at the moment is it's on the cold. It's cold, so it doesn't matter. So, I'm going to pour in some. Rice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to boil a kettle. So I'm now going to boil a kettle and then I'm going to put this on the hot plate. So um, right, I'm not going to show you me boiling a kettle because it's too much hassle, so. Right, I'm now going to pour the boiling water in, so. I've got the saucepan, I've got the kettle. Be careful now because I haven't put didn't put it on the saucepan on the sauce sorry on the cooker plate properly. Um, right, there you go. I'm gonna turn it back up again. And just so the red light goes on. Now what I'm gonna do is I should actually um, put a the lid on but instead I'm going to put a plate on instead it basically Now, this should be about 10 minutes, so as I said, I'm going to show you again. There's the rice, I'm just leave it alone, and I'm um, watching this is going to be a bit boring, so I'm going to stop it now. This is what it looks like after two or three minutes. It's Normally be able to see it more clearly, but I left the, some of the water, bits of the water in, probably from the beans. So over here, people want yellow rice, they add turmeric, but I'm trying to do this on a budget. Okay, now from above, you can now see that you've got the frying pan. And this is the plate with the sauce underneath, okay? Now the problem is that um, the meat and the vegetables, well the beans, um, are going cold and have probably gone cold now, which was to be expected because I'm trying to do it all on one saucepan. So not my saucepan, one um, hot plate, sorry. So in a moment, I'm going to swap them. So I'm going to quickly swap. Got the 
go ahead and pound that. Now, I'm going to pound it back just so you can see. And so now I'm going to start stirring things around in the frying pan. I'm going to leave that to warm for a few minutes on a low heat. Right now, the battery started to go funny, so um, it started it started to need charging. So I had to quickly plug it into a charger um, while I was doing this. But don't worry, um, I've been switching between the saucepan and the frying pan on the hot plate. Not the best way of doing it. You should have something with two, a saucepan and, a, and um, you know, two hot plates, but I'm doing it on one simply because it's simpler to film, to be very honest with you. Um, the rice is also now starting to look more like rice now. So if I show the rice a minute it's now it's difficult with all the steam but take my word for it if I move you can sort of see if I shake it around a bit it's starting to look more like rice it's just the steam is making it difficult to film but I so know sometimes the steam causes a problem with the camera lens. Honestly, that does look more like rice now than it did before. Obviously, I know it looks like rice anyway, but you know what I mean. Um, I do it almost ready to eat. So, so what I'm going to do, and because this has started to get cold now, I'll turn the heat up on this, but I'm also going to pour some of the water from the um, rice saucepan. Into this, because otherwise it can dry up, you see, if you... Normally I would have... It probably but I had to... This is not the best way of cooking it, but it's a way of doing it. And it also solves a, a slight drainage problem of what do you do with, how do you drain rice? Um, Soon it will be time to actually drain the rice, and so I think it might be ready. Actually, I think the rice might be ready now. So I'm going to try it off camera. And you can't see here's some rice. Now you can see what it looks like. And yes. He's done. So now to do is <laughs> just 
going to be difficult to show this, but we're able to try. Pour the rice. I know you should use this something other than a sieve, but I use a sieve. It's because it was something I got years ago, and which was all I ever used it for, really. I found it's now no longer any good for what a sieve was supposed to be for, but never mind. So now I'm going to have to put this back in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just holding the saucepan at the moment. Now I'm going to put, get the sieve and put the rice back in the saucepan. Bizarre, but there you go. Now, the water. Now the water is there. I'm just going to put it in there a minute. Right now, and generally you leave that for a while, also you normally cover it, so what I'm going to do is, see the rice there, I'm going to cover it like that. Now I'm going to stir this again. So this is still warm. Now, this is now warmed up more. As I said, I've found out that you often sometimes things dry and you have to add extra water sometimes to get. That's why, for example, often when I reheat um, things like this the next day, I often add extra water or extra boiling water. Um, to it, otherwise it's very dry and it dries up in the fridge. Hopefully this should be warm enough soon. Now I'm going to turn that heat down, so... Still hot, so... I think it should be good enough to put on a plate now. So now, get the plate out. Now 
and here I have the rice, so I'm the easiest thing in the world, but you try doing this on the, on the landing. There is some more in the sauce, but, but. I can now scoop it up with my fingers, so using my fingers to do it. The sauce isn't very hot anymore. So. I'll worry about the rest of the rice later. I'm now going to um, put this onto the plate. This is going to be the easiest thing in the world, but because I'm filming, it's going to be a pig. I'm to try and adjust the camera angle, so. Have a saucepan on top of a saucepan. Have a saucepan on top of a saucepan on top of with um, a frying pan on top. Not ideal, but there you go. Right, so now I'm going to wait it, okay? And now I have it, okay? So. Right, now I'm basically going to wait it, okay? So I'm going to. Now it's all ready, I can show you bits. This is the rice. And this is actually the expensive rice I've mentioned before. Um, I bought some a long time ago, if you didn't see my other videos, during the pandemic when basically you couldn't get any of the rice easily. I, I just couldn't, so. I mean, I bought it and then I didn't really use it because the next day there was some cheaper rice available, but. I thought I'd keep it for special occasions like this. Um, it's not like for million airs or anything, you know, but it's a quality brand rather than the 40p rice that I normally buy. Here you have the meat mixture, which is this is that's on the meat mixture, which consists of the onions, the red pepper, the um, and the beans. Um, And as I said, this is essentially a very cut down version of chili con carne without any chili, um, without any garlic, without many of the fancy stuff. I 
and it's pretty much as bad bones as you can make it and to be absolutely honest I'm quite surprised I thought it wouldn't be very good without lots of fancy additional things but it's actually very good tasty on its own believe it or not exactly as I did it I'm absolutely surprised maybe it's because I'm using expensive rice rather than the cheapy nasty stuff I usually use often I've got the cheapy nasty rice and I compensate it with it by using tomato sauce or other things but this I think the rice itself actually tastes right? in terms of the taste of it Um, juice is the best way I can describe it. It's got lots and lots of juice. So I haven't put any salt and pepper in. I haven't added any other ingredients whatsoever. And that's why I'm even more surprised. Okay. Um, You can taste the beans, I'm not the biggest fan of some of them truthfully, but you can taste them. And they sound they taste good. You know. If you want to cut down budget meal, you know, which I mean, it's probably not that cheap these days because the price of everything's gone through the roof. And if not the cheapest meat, it used to be one of the cheapest meat. But over here, sausages are cheaper per pound than minced beef. But I'm not, I mean, I'm genuinely surprised, so it's practically to say it's not very good. But, in case, I thought. Right, especially as I haven't added any, added any cheese to it. It's often sprinkled cheese, and I think, I'm not sure, maybe I've got more of but... I'm not going to sprinkle a lot of cheese and a lot of meals similar to this. And um, there you go. I did get the knife out, but I haven't even seen, I haven't really needed to use it truthfully, so. All I've got now, left now, is some of the rice, so. There you go. My own recipe, I make it up myself. I wondered for a while what I could use the um, mixed um, bean tin for and when I did some research and I said it's often used in Mexican recipes and chili con carne and this kind of thing seem to be what people use it for I thought well there I have it so As I said, tomorrow what I'll do is I will again cook the rice separately and then I will take some of the and boil it. I will then 
take some of the hot water from the rice out and pour it into the frying pan because um, otherwise it's too dry because it does tend to dry up in the um, fridge and often you need to extra water when you've got it out of the fridge the next day and then just eat it probably this will probably last me about probably a week possibly okay so I think I've I mean there's little bits on here but not much so I'm just going to eat my food nice no, not the most you know best way of eating but there you go there you go guys a little bit there there you go minced beef um with beans and beans and rice thanks for watching guys bye